Okay, what's up? Um, today I would like to go a little bit into the contrabass I have. And many of you may already know that I own a Ledge contrabass trombone. And I'm also a Ledge a custom brass artist. So um, maybe that's why. But this is uh, by far one of my favorite uh, contrabass trombones in the world. I've tried a lot of uh, of different uh, ones. I've tried Tide Wrath, Hark, Kanstool, uh, also the Vesex, but that's really not. You cannot compare that to anyone. Um, but and I'm not saying that any of these brands are bad or not worth it. Or, but for me, this is uh, the perfect uh, perfect blend between. You know the bass trombone sound and the country bass it's not as too beige as many of the others are um, and i kind of like that some of the features of this amazing trombone is of course the carbon valves the carbon valves are very special because they are extremely lightweight they are extremely fast and they are durable one thing you need to notice about these carbon fiber valves is you do not need to oil them or you cannot oil them. If you oil them, you will break them. Carbon fiber and uh, the synthetic oil we use on valves is not a good combination. So just a little bit of water and if you practice uh, on a day-to-day -day basis or like a couple of times a week, it should be enough just uh, you know just playing so you don't need a lot of uh, a lot of water water to keep it going one of the features on the contrabass trombone is also the very short throw because it's a rotor valve and the way it's designed they made a very very short throw this is not only a feature on the bass trombone or the contrabass trombone but also on the i have a bass trumpet and it's this exact same throw also the chimbasso is amazing and has a very short throw also my contribution bone is with the an independent setup and it has the it's an f obviously um it has these uh, i also talked about about this in the other video i have and it's um if you press down the first valve it's in C and the other one in C sharp and it will play a low A combined. It's just a short of course you heard me play it play it before and I just really want to get in you know it deserves a lot of love I mean it's uh, it's crazy expensive but it's amazing every time I play it I've you know I, I'm getting more and more happy Um, of course there's also the size and the weight and this is a diff definitely on the lighter side uh, on the scale Um. I've played Tynes before um, on shows. I've played them on competitions, and they are for me they are extremely heavy compared to this. Also, the Kanstool I had, I had a Kanstool for a long period of time, and that was also extremely heavy compared to this. Some of the other features on this is the built-in or not built-in, but they have a thumb rest, and it's actually for me it's enough. Normally, uh, I use um, one of these. Uh, hand braces on top but I actually I don't need it uh, only when I play uh, I mean if, if I practice tons of it, like for solo pieces or I might uh, I might have one of these but the 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 brace itself is actually enough um, for me so I don't need tons of accessories or tons of gadgets to 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 keep it up one of the other features on this is the screw bell and 
a lot of people are asking about screw bells and bass. I also my bass drum is also a screw bell, um, and I actually like it a lot. For me, um, one of the key things in my playing is that I might lack a little bit of core, and this uh, this uh, type of bell suits me really well because it it just keeps the sound together a little bit, and that's you know perfect. Um, so it's just a little bit of free core, and you don't. I don't feel I lose the flexibility or the sound. Um, actually, it's a li maybe a little more flexible for me. Um, but again, different stuff for different different people. Um, but this is definitely one of my. I mean, that is one of my 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 dreams come true to buy one of these. Uh, I tried it at ITF International Trombone Festival, and uh, it was before I actually uh, was being asked if I wanted to be an artist. I went to ITF and I tried it, and I was just like, oh, "I need this. This has to be in my life at some point." Um, and lucky for me, here I am with this beautiful thing. One of the things I really like about the screwball is the case the case is a lot lighter and it's very compact i have a flight case down here i can't show it right now but maybe uh, some close-up i have a flight case down here and actually my gig bag with it also has wheels on it so it's really really easy to to walk with it fits directly into the case so if i'm flying like overseas or i'm uh, going uh, going a place where I need the flight case more more than one time um, I can just put my gig bag into the flight case and when I come I have a gig bag and a flight case so it's easy to bring um, but that's you know the comfort I have of having a small flat case instead of one of these huge bulky uh, gig bags made out of uh, kudua or or you know nylon or leather um, they are also good. I have one for my bass trombone, but you know, having a especially for my for my bass trombone, it's almost like a viola size. It's um, it's pretty amazing. And just a little teaser, I will be going to the Dutch bass trombone open here in September. Actually, we have Sunday today, and on Thursday I will be flying out to Amsterdam, Schiphol, and um, Ben from Lech will pick me up and we will talk a little bit and have some fun. And Friday I will go to the Dutch Bass Trombone Open. And that's a mini festival or course for bass trombones only. And um, I know my my good friend Aiden will be, be there. It's actually the first time Aiden and me will meet. We have been connecting through you know Facebook and YouTube um, you know there will be more on that and we will see each other for the first time it's gonna be a lovely time I think and I will be bringing my bass trombone and my contra bass trombone I will have two seats for me on the airplane one for Mr. Clemson and one for Mr. Contra bass trombone Clemson so um, it's a little bit of a hassle but it I know it's secure with me when I can take it on board the plane if you want me to play anything on the contribution bone, please let me know.